What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is just gonna be a really quick uh, midweek type update. Um, I got a little bit of progress to show you on the Corvette. Uh, I started a new buddy build and I got a really cool mail call. Um, so I just wanna go over those things with you really quick. And uh, yeah, so let's start with the, uh, I guess we'll start with the Corvette. Uh, that kit is going together beautiful. Um, I got uh, I got the body is uh, cleared and the trim is done. Um, I haven't cut and buffed it yet, um, and I got ahead of myself and I put the glass in. Usually I cut do my first cut and buff, cut buff and polish. I, I guess you'd say uh, before the glass is in. But I got ahead of myself, so I'll just have to be kind of careful with the glass. But anyway, that's looking really really cool. I'm, I'm really happy with the way that's coming out. Um, I've had a couple of issues with the decals. Um, and I don't think it's really anything to really gripe about. Um, first off, uh, the hood decal, I, I didn't notice. And you guys might not even be able to see it on camera. But there's a little crack in the decal right there. Um, I did not notice that crack when I clear coated it. So, I don't know if I did that, if the clear did that, I, I'm not too sure. But, I mean, otherwise the thing is, it's coming out beautiful. Um, and the, uh, the red line tire decals, I struggle with those every time. Um, so there's the rims painted up, those, those came out really good. The red line tire decals, I never have any luck with, uh, no matter what kit it is. So, I don't know what to say about that. That's, that's on me, I would think. Um, but I do, you know, I always wondered if they can, they could do a white wall tire. Why can't they do a red line tire? And I'm pretty sure AMT did a parts pack with red line tires in them. So, man, model companies... Ravel, Monogram, Ravel Germany, whoever put out this kit, if you're listening to me, which I doubt you are, but if you are, man, enough with the red line tire decals. Just make the tires with the red lines in them, please. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, the motor is painted up and assembled. You know, it looks pretty good. I, I didn't wire it. Um, I'm not gonna, I kind of wanted to keep this like a box stock type of build. Um, this is painted with MCW paints, that's the Chevrolet engine red, which is orange. That's the MCW, um, carburetor green gold over that. Uh, I did paint the belts with testers rubber, flat rubber. Um, I still have to decal the engine, put the air cleaner decal on. Uh, and that stuff when I do the final assembly of the mo of everything, but it's coming out really good. This this model might actually be one that is going to be show worthy. Believe it or not, it's coming out that nice. It would have to be a box stock class, but I'm okay with that. Um, it's it's really coming together nice, in my opinion. Um, and I got the interior done, so that's the interior. Um, I always do my carpet with a flat craft paint. Uh, this the the tub is textured, so it looks like carpet. One of these times, I'm gonna try flocking one. I've never done that before, and I I I kind of want to try that to see how it comes out. But I didn't on this one, so it is what it is. But uh, gauge decals look good. Uh, you even get a decal for the radio dial in this. Which is really nice. Um, the the trim rings on the gauges are all mol Molotow pen. Um, I, I'm really happy with this one. So hopefully by the end of the week that'll be um, final assembled, and I'll be able to show you the chassis. The chassis went together really good. It's just a flat black, and it's actually in the box still. So nothing really to show there. You'll be able to see that um, when I show you the final the final on it. So. Uh, that is that. Um, the new buddy build that I started. So I started a buddy build with my friend Tim Ryan. Um, and we both had this kit. Um, 
and I had told him that I really, after I got done with uh, all the builds that I was building for the show in October, I wanted to do something quick and easy. Um, something that would just be, you know, I don't know, something that would I wouldn't have to sink a lot of detail in. And he suggested a curbside kit. Um, why not? A curbside kit is is an easy, you know, you don't have to worry about detail in the engine, um, that kind of thing. So I thought, man, that'd be cool. And I had gotten this kit from my friend Tony Lancer a while back. So we're doing this. Tim and I are doing this as a buddy build. Um, I'm, I'm not going to show you guys step by step too much on this one. This is going to be, like I said, it's going to be a quick in-between other stuff build for me. Um, you'll probably see more of this if you go to the Facebook groups and you go to my Instagram. Uh, I'm probably, I mean, I'll show you this when it's done, but you'll see more in-progress um, pictures on, on the other social media. Um, the three big Facebook groups I'm part of would be um, the Classic Plastic Model Club Facebook page, um, Model Car Videos Facebook page, uh, and the Lucas C Facebook page. So those are the three big ones that you'll see me on when you see me on there. I'm not on very often. I used to be, but thanks to this YouTube thing um, and kind of putting more effort into my Instagram, I've kind of gotten away from the Facebook stuff, but um, I think this will be the perfect opportunity to get back kind of in into that part of it uh, by showing pictures of that. So if you want to check that out in progress, go over to those, those places I mentioned and uh, check it out there. It's going to be a really fun build, and it's coming out nice. Um, I painted it with the um, Tester's Extreme Lacquer. It's like fiery orange, and uh, man... Did that come out nice? This is one of my better paint jobs for sure. There's like nothing dust-wise in this sucker. Um, it is smooth as glass. So this is just going to get uh, trimmed and then clear-coated. Um, and the really neat thing about these cars is that it's not... i got to figure it out. I might have to do the window trim with, with like Sharpie. Um, cause all the window trim on this stuff is black. I've never done that before either. Um, I don't want to give away too much of how I'm building this, but that's how, that's what it looks like. And that is nice. So go check that out. Um, so that's that. Uh, speaking of buddy builds, that, that reminds me, I wanted to, to, um, tell you guys about a cool a cool group build that's going on right now on another channel. Um, so over on, at Rusty Rotors, he's doing a Hot Wheels replica group build. And that, to me, that's very cool. Um, it's kind of an out of, not a, not a box stock, but thinking out of the box type of build. Uh, I've never heard of something like that. Um, and that's really neat. I wish I had the time to get in on it, but I don't, unfortunately. Um, between this buddy build um, and the Corvette, and I have to do, uh, I'm building a model for a good friend of mine who wants to give it to somebody as a gift. Uh, so I've got to do that sprint car. Um, man, I'm just busy. Busy, busy, busy. So, and uh, Ryan and I, uh, Mr. 603 Model Works, we have a buddy build coming up together too. So I got like the rest of the year, rest of the year planned out. Um, so I don't have time to get in on it, but I want you guys to go over to his channel uh, and check it out. He's got a couple of videos explaining the ins and outs of the build. And like I said, it's very different and very interesting. And I think is going to be very cool. Um, but I, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I mean, who am I? You know, I mean, I don't know. I think it's cool. You guys might not, but you should because it is. <laughs> anyway, go go check that out at Rusty Rotor. Um, and I guess if it's something that interests you, uh, definitely get in on it. I mean, it's very it's very neat. So uh, it was that, and then uh, the mail call. So I got a really cool mail call this week. 
Um, let me move some of this stuff out of the way here so that I can show you. So, um, I got a mail call uh, from William at Ruckus Rods or Ruckus Rod and Customs, all things automotive. There's a shop card. Um, go check this channel out. Give it a subscription. Um, thank you for the very kind words on the back of this. I really, really appreciate that. Um, for me to inspire anybody is why I do this. Um, and that's, that's amazing. So thank you. Uh, but William sent me some really cool stuff that I want to show you. Uh, the first thing he sent me was a rebuilder. This thing is cool. So this is an Austin coupe, I guess you'd call it, rebuilder. This is the body. Um, and this thing is actually pretty dang nice. It's like, I don't know if I would... How much I want to rebuild. I mean, I'm going to. I'm going to redo this the best I can. Um, but it's got a cool aluminum firewall. It's got the the yellow windows. I mean, this thing is this thing's just neat. Um, there's the, it, the body. Uh, the interior is, is here. Um, the other door is in there. Uh, the nose is in there. Um, I mean, this thing is just absolutely badass. And then I've got this bag full of parts. <laughs> like, literally, everything is in here. The front suspension is in here. The axle's in here. All four wheels and tires. The chassis. Uh, the chassis has a really... Let me, I'm going to open this up and show you guys. This motor is cool. Um, so, I mean, it's got, like, braided line and what looks like stuff to do plug wires. I mean, this thing is cool. This is, everything is here. Um, but, look at that. 427 Ford motor with that fuel injection. Holy moly, is that cool! That is freaking cool. So, I'm gonna do this um, in between other stuff. I think I'm gonna redo this model uh, and bring it back to its former glory. I mean, this thing was. I can tell just by looking at it that this at one point in time was a beautiful model. Um, so I want to bring that back. That's that's just in 50s drag cars. That's right up my alley. So that's that's perfect. Thank you for that, William. And uh, that's that's going to be fun. Like I said, I'll I'll mess around with this in between stuff that's going on here or there. You know, give myself a break from whatever I'm working on. But uh, yeah, that is. That is cool. Um, and then he, the other thing he sent me, which just is, is awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping you guys can see it. So, see that license plate? It's a New Hampshire plate that, like, actually looks like a New Hampshire plate. And it says Blue Ox on it. How cool is that? I mean, that's really cool. And he sent me like a half a dozen of those. That's awesome. So th that's going to be... Those are going to go on my next few builds. Um, that is just so cool. I can't... Like, I'm going to replace the plates that are on the Nova gasser with one of those. Um, and uh, I am definitely going to put one of those on the... Uh, the GTX, the group build that I'm doing for the Unified Scale Automotive Content Creators group. Boy, is that a mouthful. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it, that that reminds me, I haven't had a chance to do anything on that, unfortunately. Um, I'm still kind of in the planning stages. Uh, I like, I like I showed you guys in the intro video, I have picked out the color. Um, I'm tossing around ideas for wheels and tires um 
I, I, I'm thinking I want to do Kragers, uh, but I'm also thinking I want to do, so hold on one second, I'll show you the other wheels that I got for this. Oop, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera. Uh, where are they? I can't find them. Hold on. Bear with me. They're, oh, they're back there. We don't edit. Hold on. Okay, so I got Kragers that are coming for this for the GTX, um, and that's kind of what I really wanted to go with for a look on this. Um, but I've also got these center lines, polished center lines with slicks, skinnies, skinny skinnies in the front. That just about, that fills the wheel well in the back. Um, so, uh, I gotta actually get the Craigers in my hands first to, to see them and figure out exactly what I'm going with. But that's a little, a little tiny bit of what is going to happen with that model. I'm excited to start on that. Very excited. So what I gotta do is I gotta get this Corvette finished. Um, and then I can break into that kit. Um, that kit needs a lot of work. A lot. Um, it's molded in like a metallic blue, so it's got to be sanded. Everything's got to be primered. Um, the engine bay, you've seen on everybody's video um, that the engine bay is wrong. Well, the engine bay is wrong. Um, I am not going to cut that engine bay out and put a whole nother engine bay in or any of that. I'm going to try my best to uh, make that a little bit better. Um, I'm thinking I might have to cut that battery out um, and scab in some flat styrene sheet and like build a battery tray and put an actual battery in there. Um, that kind of thing. That might be the tops. I, I don't, I'm not gonna like go super like crazy cutting this kit apart. Um, but I'm gonna try and make it look a little bit better than it is. So uh, I guess, I guess that's 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 what I got for you guys. Um, a quick video is going on 20 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. So uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, do me a favor. Uh, hit the subscription button. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, go check out Ruckus. Uh, I will link his channel in the description of the video. Um, as always, go check out Hobby Nut Models. Right there, Hobby Nut Models. Bam, there's his logo. Um, his website is linked in the description of this video, as always. Uh, a shop card. If you'd like a shop card or you want to shoot the breeze, send me an email. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, my email address is in the link. Of this video also don't hesitate uh, and I, I think that's it I think until this weekend that's all I got for you guys um, hopefully the Corvette will be done or close to done I can't make any promises though I got a lot of stuff going on this weekend as always and uh, I got to get ready for the weekend after which is gonna be the classic plastic uh, show I gotta start thinking about that and doing a video from there and packing up those models right there, right there, um, and bringing those. And uh, my goodness, busy, busy next couple of weeks. But anyways, um, we'll talk again soon, and uh, it'll be fun, as it always is. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and um, I will see you on the next one. Bye.